Okay, so I want to talk about uh, what we've sort of seen with the stock market lately, where it's been a flat for the month, um, and in some cases down. And what I think what we're seeing is something rather exciting, and that is value stock finally doing better than growth stock. Um, for the past 13 years or so, uh, the longest streak in record, growth stocks have done better than value stocks. And it's led to tremendous valuations of companies like Tesla, Google, and Apple. Uh, and, and Netflix really comes to mind. Um, and whether or not these valuations are justified and what it means for the market is not necessarily good. So it's good to see a reversal of the events uh, that we've seen. Um, in particular, I, I think part of why we've seen value stocks start to do better than growth is because I think the market is starting to worry a little bit more about inflation. Um, for as long as I've been alive, we haven't really had inflation. So people, I think, in some respects, have decided that it no longer exists. And that's part of why growth stocks have done so well, is that if inflation expectations are low, um, you know, that would, that implies higher valuations for growth stocks because their uh, future cash flows or their profits really are more likely to be made in the future. So when you discount those back at a lower discount rate because you think inflation is less, the valuation of those companies go up higher. Uh, by contrast, value stocks, which are stocks in sectors such as the financials and energy, which have not done well over the past 13 years, those um, uh, are, are more likely to do well during inflation because there are claims on assets or claims on real assets, um, especially if you're dealing with commodities. And I think that may be why Warren Buffett, despite disliking gold, invested recently in a gold miner. Um, as to why the market is worried about there finally being inflation, I think it has to do with A, all the, of course, the fiscal accommodation we've had due to COVID, what happens when COVID goes away, but yet there are, there's still all this money floating about. Um, and also the Federal Reserve has said that they will let inflation be higher than their long-term target of 2% a year to compensate for the fact that in many years it's been less than 2%. And then at the same time, they've also said that they expect monetary policy to be very accommodative till 2022. So those are pretty powerful statements and uh, sort of a hint to the market that uh, you might want to start getting a little more worried about inflation. Um, so in that case, the value stocks will become more uh, desirable because, as I said, their claims on assets. Historically, tobacco stocks have done very well in times of inflation, um, as well as energy. Uh, financial stocks, to some extent, um, I think Berkshire Hathaway will probably do better here. Um, but, uh, you know, overall, I think that there are opportunities in stocks with higher yields, such as the tobacco stocks, um, such as some of the energy stocks, if you can be selective about it. But uh, investors have been, it's funny, the stock market is expensive, but yet at the same time, you have these high yielding companies with huge dividends that, investors don't seem to be taking up on because they're so infatuated with the future growth of companies. But I think, you know, once uh, inflation occurs and suddenly you really have a need for income that keeps up with that, um, those stocks will become more popular. 
and in the meantime you can just lock in a pretty good dividend uh, yield with value so that's that's kind of a um, a hot take I'll, I'll have pro probably have more views on this in the future but I, I think a story that has not been reported much is that uh, perhaps the behavior we're seeing is due to starting to worry a little bit about inflation okay uh talk to you guys soon